I know what you're thinking. Why review Taylor Swift's fake relationship? The real question is, why not? Did I say alleged re fake relationship? I Yes, the alleged fake relationship. And why do we do this to ourselves? We don't have any type of obsession with Taylor Swift. We just love the sweet nom 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 salty tears that we get. I mean, we barely ever cover Taylor Swift around here. That's not a thing that we do. We don't talk about the fake AI pics of her or her deal with the devil. Or her having a <laughs> fetish problem? Or that she's the not a lizard person? Or that she's going to join the MCU? None of those things are real. <laughs> Why would we cover all those? Why would we care? <laughs> well, we do, because it's funny. But I think there's a little bit of insight to be gained from this, because I learned something new from this story. No idea. But let's take a look. Allegedly, there's a Travis Kelsey Taylor Swift breakup contract. And why would someone have a breakup contract? I don't know, other, other than it means their relationship wasn't real. It all seems kind of fortuitous that she's like dropping a new album and he's going to the Super Bowl. And the new word that I learned was showmance that there's things called fake romances where you can have a showmance where it benefits the parties involved so they can either you know get some heat away from them or they can promote something new because there's so much buzz think of j-lo you know with uh benefer right is that what they call them benefer or something like that anyway people are saying it's fake in fact i saw but there's no proof that it's fake but there's also why the, why would Kelsey's lawyers want to put a stop to it if it was fake? If it's fake, you just go, uh, yeah, that's stupid. It's fake. Why would I care? But now, why would you why would you pay an attorney to go after this if there wasn't more noise to it? And there's a definitive benefit that Kelsey has gotten, which we'll get to in, in just a minute here. But he's trying to effectively manage and mitigate fallout from a breakup with the mega pop star. The breakup would occur on September 28th. I mean, he does have football to get back to, and he is trying to three-peat with his team, and he doesn't have a lot more time to play. So he's definitely not going to, you know, be able to focus as much on her as, as humanly possible. I I just think it's, it's kind of funny. Why would you get... And you just go, this is nonsense. Why would you... Who cares? This is fake news. That's all you say. Fake news has nothing to do with me, but yes, um, Kelsey's publicist Ketso Yan, whoever that is, previously admitted to arranging showmances, fake romances for publicity for for celebrities. It's a common practice to help hype a celebrity, so that's interesting, huh? How does that happen? Then you have people talking about it. People, as in the the thing. They're claiming it's entirely false. These documents are entirely false and fabricated and were not created, issued, or authorized by this agency. I mean, they could have been written by anybody. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of funny. To initiate proceedings against individuals responsible for the unlawful and injurious forgery of documents. <laughs> like, why would you pay an attorney to do this? They're both 34, getting a little long in the tooth there. I mean, why didn't he marry her after the Super Bowl? Dude literally wins the Super Bowl, you'd think. And then there's some weird story about she's uh writing play she's writing plays for the for the Chiefs. Like, oh Taylor suggested some plays. Yeah, really? I know Coach Andy Reid. I'm a Philadelphia Eagles fan. I know him very well, and there's no way that maniacal monster is ever letting Taylor Swift anywhere near the football field, let alone give her plays. I know none of the plays have gotten to Coach Andy Reid yet. There's no way she's making a play. It's like, so you're making them fake news as it is there. He goes, oh, she's she's a little biased. She just creates plays for me. We'll see if it make it to Coach Reid's office. Get out of here, you you nutbag. <laughs> fake news. It's all it's all fake news. But here's 
another part that I think is the most interesting part. So when you say, well, what would be the point of, of coming up with a fake relationship, fake romance? Why would you do that for yourself? What does that mean? What do you have to gain? She has an album to promote, but he's a football player. He's got nothing to gain. But his brother is retired, and he's pretty close to retirement age. He's only got a little bit of time left. Kelsey Brothers sign a deal with Amazon's Wondery for New Heights podcast worth more than $100 million for a three-year contract. Huh? Huh? That's a lot of money. And do you think they would have got $100 million if he wasn't dating Taylor Swift? If there was a chance that Taylor Swift could be a guest on that show? Or, you know, come on. Three-year window. I mean, it's popular, but it ain't that popular. Uh, they made a similar deal with Dak Shepard for $80 million. And Alex Cooper just signed one for one twenty-five. dollars was serious. I don't think these dudes are... Uh, and sports podcasts don't do that well, but it's become uh, a cultural phenomenon in that they're in the cultural zeitgeist. Really? Really? So I think... Uh, I think there's a little shenanigans going on here a little bit of shenanigans so you guys let me know in the comments below do you think this is fake do you think uh, they have a breakup contract i mean it would be giant news to promote their new podcast where he can air out all his dirty laundry just think all of the great stories that are not real like she draws a plays for the chiefs anyway let me know what you think in the comments below i don't know why i cover these I give this fake relationship a 10 out of 10. Never seen a better fake relationship in my whole life, allegedly. So anyway, give me your rating down below. Let me know what you think in the comments below, fake or real. And we'll discuss it again later. But thank you for listening. Appreciate you. But I'm on to the next one. Thanks for catching the video. Be sure to join our channel to get the education you deserve. Make sure you check out our shorts, live streams, and catch us on all the socials. Don't forget to like and subscribe.